I like to pierce on the uh, one single exhale. Most of it is, is all in your head. Pain is temporary. Vanity is forever. My mom has this thing where her grandma would always tell her, if God wanted a hole on your body, he would have put it there. Just to get my ears pierced, I had to wait until I was in 10th grade and I begged for them. My name is Melissa and I'm getting a nose piercing today. So I have both ears pierced, but two holes on this side. I had my cartilage done, my nose done, and my belly button. I had my nose piercing for a little over a year, but I kind of got tired of where the piercing was placed. I really love wearing hoops and mine hung way too low for me. I'm definitely looking forward to going to someone who knows what they're doing. We're gonna clean you up, mark you up, and then pierce you up. My name is Brian Thompson. I own Body Electric. I've been piercing about 10 years now. My commanding officer was to see me now. He would say I was an idiot. You know, This is not in Marine Corps regulation except for my haircut. That's what drew me to tattooing and piercing is that I could manipulate and change my body the way I wanted to and nobody had a say in it. There's two sides of piercing. There's the actual physical act of piercing and then there's decorating, knowing where to put it. I am a decorator. Placement is definitely important when it comes to a piercing. When you get a piercing done, it shapes your face. If it's in a weird spot, you might feel uncomfortable or you might feel like you look weird. I don't myself use a piercing gun. That's not to say that the gun doesn't work. It does. But me, if I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna get pierced with a needle every single day. I'm not gonna use the gun. When the piercing gun is used, it is basically using blunt force trauma. It is taking a stud that is fastened to a point and using the spring-loaded force of that gun to puncture it through your earlobe. You're gonna see the fibers eject from the backside where the actual jewelry exits. That's happening to your ear as well. Right after you pierced, you're gonna have more swelling. Inflammation causes pain, so then you're gonna have more pain. It's gonna take longer to heal, especially if you have sensitive skin. Now, a puncture is going to heal slower than a cut. A needle may be round, but it's still cutting. It's basically like a circular, tiny little scalpel. The piercing needle, it's one mission on this planet is to do what? Pierce the body. A piercing needle, it's hollow. It pierces quicker and without any kind of drag. It doesn't remove any tissue, it just kind of opens a space. Right now I'm just setting up a little bit of ink for marking, sterile lubricant, and a little bit of soap for scrubbing. When I get set up to pierce, nothing is pre-sterilized. I do it all while you wait. Gauze, the needle, jewelry, toothpick I use for marking. Everything runs through this machine. Once it's complete, I bring the client back. That's when uh, we pierce. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get lined up. Once I am, I'm gonna have you take a big, deep breath, okay? In mm -hmm. through your nose. Slow and concentrate, out through your mouth. Okay? Mm -hmm. Your right eye's gonna walk. Okay. Just let it happen. And you're deep breath all in. All out. I like to pierce on the uh, one single exhale. 
Deep breath in, exhale. That's when I pierce. First, it's a sharp pinch. You have a lot of nerve endings on your nostril. It's a very sharp pinch, but it subsides very rapidly. The next is you're gonna feel warmth in the area. Blood is rushing to the area. The eye immediately waters. So when you're getting your nose pierced, it happens quickly. It's a pinch, and it's anticipation that makes it feel like it's gonna be a lot worse, but it isn't. Everybody's eye waters, even Bruce Lee, if he got his nose pierced, his eye would have watered too. If you build it up and make it about the negativity of the pain, then I, I think you're going about it all wrong. You should look at it in a positive light. <laughs> Can I do that? A slight change made such a big difference. He moved it up a little bit and to the side, and I think it looks so much better. <laughs> if you really want to do it, then sit down and make it happen. You can always take it out. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos, click here. And to subscribe, click here.